What's up everybody, welcome to my desk. Uh, today we're gonna go over the new Slack logo really fast and some potential job opportunities and maybe something else after that. So let's head over to Twitter and see what's going on with the Slack logo. Let's actually go to Slack. I, I put on the wrong thing, it's HQ. You are blocked from following at Slack and viewing at Slack's tweets. Who is this guy? Why'd you block me, bro? You're not even tweeting about design. Well, now that my day's ruined, uh, let's get back to topic. So Slack has a new logo. And from the looks of design Twitter, which we can always trust, uh, maybe it's not that great. I don't know. There's comments like, why though? The pinwheel, everything's fine. Splat. Uh, is there something you like to tell us, Slack? I like the old one better. Yo, Chief, this ain't it. The old one was actually iconic and highly familiar. This one looks like a generic $100 job from 99designs. All right, first off, with any new design, obviously there's, a, there's some mixed feelings, whatever. But I'll go ahead and say that I actually appreciate this new design. I don't know that I fully uh, connect with it yet. I like it, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, I did love the original one. Uh, I really love this app icon. I love the hashtag. So right now, my first reaction is obviously a disconnect, but it's because it's really new. But I see what's happening here. They're, maybe they're going for, um, you know, just obviously a fresh new look, but to try to reach a broader audience, maybe the, the current logo was super like startup-y and like just chill and casual. And, uh, you know, it, it's been around for a while now, so maybe it is time for a fresh vibe. Something that will attract, to seem more serious and attract more of the, the corporate world that they're, they might be trying to hit. Because I know a lot of startups and people use Slack, um, but I, I'm not sure how far it goes beyond that. So this, this could be a step in the right direction um, to try to gain more people. Maybe, I don't know. Um, like I said, I, I, I'm super attached to the old one, but I don't know the reasoning behind this new design, but let's, let's take a look at, actually first I want to, I do want to say it does look like, uh, Mike and Ike's, oh, is it, what is it? Maybe it is Mike and Ike's, yeah, see how the, the candy here, this is candy, that's, that's, that's definitely candy, and I don't know, is this like little rubber duckies? <laughs> No, I'm kidding. I like it. I think it's cool. Uh, let's just, let's, let's get a sense of kind of where they were coming from. We loved our old logo and look. I mean, yeah, I did too. And no, many, many felt the same way. Yet, here we are to explain why we decided to evolve it. Let's just have a look at this thing. I mean, that, there's nothing wrong with that. Obviously, it's different. It's supposed to be. Uh, but I, seeing the hashtag though, man, I just, I really enjoy that. But this does look like a, you know, a nice evolution of that if it needed to be. Um, seeing it back and forth, obviously just from this standpoint, if I had a, an option, I would definitely wanna go with the older one. Just It just looks cooler. But looking cool isn't like a reason to have, you know, a logo for, I'm sure there was reasons why this one didn't work. So they needed to improve it. As far as looks goes though, definitely vibing with the old one, but I don't mind the new one. So let, let's see why they why they changed it. Um, they're saying it's not change for change sake. Uh, I hope not. That said, change is inevitable and something to be embraced. But that's not a good reason to change the logo. That's right, that's right. So our first logo was created before the company launched. It was distinctive, playful, and kind of a pound sign hashtag. And it resembled the same character that you see in front of channels. Um, which is why I actually really enjoyed it and, and kind of connected with it right away. It was part of the product. It was, you know, it just made sense. And let's actually look at, uh, I believe uh, MetaLab uh, did their first logo, MetaLab Slack. Here we go. Um, nice little intro. 
and uh, oh. used by what's going on? Oh, it's just a scroll. Just a scroll. And this is where it all kind of started. You know, you could see like obviously they didn't go with these two directions. So you can see that the designs haven't really changed from the beginning. Um, so that's maybe that's something that they're trying to hit at. They were saying it's extremely easy to get wrong. It was 11 different colors, and if placed on any color other than white or at a wrong angle, it looked terrible. It pained us. And I mean, let's be real for a minute. No matter what you put on this stack of hundreds right here, it's gonna look pretty terrible. You can put the Nike logo on there and it's gonna look like poop. Anything you put a little crack in the middle of it and on this red crazy background, it's gonna look like poop. So I don't know if this is the best example of what you're trying to say, Slack, but I get it, I do get it. But the main reason it looks like is that everything wasn't cohesive, right? So you have you know, this illustration here, this kind of photography here, whatever's going on here, black and white stuff. I mean, you got, you got all kinds of craziness here. And I will say that that's not the logo's fault. Um, though I think what you're getting at is it was hard to place this color logo on a lot of things because of the way it was in the 11 colors. Like some of it had to be white, you know, um, and it just it wouldn't really work on this kind of image. But I mean, I think that's more of an overall branding problem, not just a logo. Like maybe there should have been a system up front. But again, this was a startup and, you know, Sometimes it's, you don't have the time to think about those things as you're just getting going, getting the product out, growing the company. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. But now it's time, you know, you're growing up, maybe there's an IPO coming or something big, you know, stock's getting huge. So it's time to, to grow that. So you hit up Pentagram, it looks like, and they created some cool stuff. Let's see, this is beautiful. Look at this, I love it. I love this purple. I'm a huge fan of this purple right here. I still, I just, I'll be honest though, I don't really understand what this is, what the symbol is, and that, I think that's okay. I mean, I don't think, a, I don't think this symbol has to 100% tell me what the product is. It just needs to be a, a symbol, something I can recognize from anywhere. I mean, it's doing that, right? It's, it's not telling me what the product is, but it is, it is symbolizing the company, and I think I think over time, you know, this, this will be a success. So the original one though, was describing the company in a way to me, you know, with a hashtag in a way. I mean, maybe, I guess it only because I knew what the product was. And you could argue that this one is chat bubbles and maybe, maybe these are people, or this is the, like the dot, 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 or this is another chat bubble actually, I guess, I guess they're all chat bubbles. So you could argue that that does symbolize, um, and symbolize and describe what the company is. I will miss this icon though, man. But I mean, this, this will grow on us. This will grow on us for sure, for sure. Okay, so now we're getting to some of the examples that Pentagram um, maybe presented. I mean, surely they didn't present some of this stuff. I don't know, this I'm confused about. So let's just, let's, let's cruise on through. We'll just skip that too. We'll just skip that too. Let's see what else they have to say. They're using a, a simpler color palette we believe is more refined, but still contains the spirit of the original. It's an evolution of one that could scale easily and work better in many more places. And that's, that's the key, right? They had a logo that didn't work in a lot of places. Now they have a logo that works in a lot of places. You know what I mean? Or at least in more places. So at the end of the day, isn't that really all that matters? It'll, it'll help them grow, help them, uh, achieve more. I mean, you can see the family here. It does look more consistent. Now you have a, the icon everywhere, right? Uh, before, they were three different marks, weren't they? Yeah, look. I mean, I don't know what that one was, but they're three different marks. Congrats, Slack. I mean, I, I like it. You know, obviously it's got to grow on me. Uh, I'm so used to and such a big fan of the old one, but Maybe it's just because I've, you know, been a part of it since since early on. But I mean, whatever, you know, you needed to grow, you needed something that was more scalable, and now you got it. So kudos to that, and I look forward to, to seeing how you use it in the future. So uh, enough of that. I tweeted out, if you're hiring a designer, DM me right now so I can add it to this next video. So <laughs> a lot of people did DM me, they just kind of put it in the thread, which 
I get it, you want people to see it. So I'm just gonna go through some of these and I don't hit up the people in this thread or send me a DM or I don't know, somehow maybe I'll connect you or give the contact info, maybe in the description. I'll put the contact info in the description if I have it. And uh, hopefully if you're looking for a job, hey, here's some opportunities. So let's take a look. Lyft Design Systems? Lyft Design Systems, is that what y'all go by? So Lyft is looking for a production designer. All right, here we go. Uber, Uber Money, uh, which is in Amsterdam. They're hiring designers. Are they remote? I don't, I'm not really sure, but hey, Uber's, Uber's hiring. Airbnb Plus team is looking for a lead designer. That's pretty cool. Framer is hiring. They're looking for brand, visual, product, systems, and front end to be exact. Thank you for being exact. Home Depot is looking for a full stack designer located in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, I wonder if that's remote too. And what actually is a full stack designer? I actually don't know. Someone please tell me what a full stack designer is. Electronic Arts or hiring designers. And Workday, at Workday is looking for a senior UX researcher. It's pretty neat. What is Workday? I don't know what Workday is. Get closer look at Workday, the enterprise cloud for finance. I still don't know what it is. But that's cool, they're hiring. Meat, Meat Setter is looking for a junior designer. Live Candid, live. Is it le Live Candid? Live Candid or Live Candid? Is it Live Candid or Live Candid, Bobby? Um, they're hiring a designer and their brand is so on point and you'll get to work with Bobby, he's a pretty cool dude. Jared Lodwick, Jared Lodwick says, we're hiring a designer at Viv Labs, Samsung to work on Bixby. So that's cool, hit up Jared. Twitter, uh, hit up Mike if you want to work at Twitter. They're looking for a leader for our design technology team, which works on design systems, prototyping, and tools. Also a visual design specialist. Visual design specialist. Not sure what that is. Product designer for video. Yeah, some fun jobs for Twitter. So hit them up. Uh, let's see what Jesse Ferris says. I'm hiring for a junior UX role for a financial company based in Austin with my friends over at Visa. Uh, looking and we're looking to fill several UX design positions in Austin as well. Joy Banks, Verta, uh, they're hiring a designer, helping to reverse diabetes. So doing the important work right here. So hit up uh, Joy Banks if you're interested in Verta. It looks like that's about it. So I do want to say one quick thing. If you haven't already, if you're looking for a design conference to go to, Epicurrence, we got a new one, we just launched the site. Definitely check out the site, watch this. Woo! Nighttime, daytime, uh, ooh, hold it down. I'm learning something new every day on this website. Anyways, it's a new conference, um, March 21st and 22nd. We're gonna do some really cool talks, workshops during the day, discussions at night, and obviously they're skiing and snowboarding. So, you know, if you're looking for something, come hang out, it's gonna be really fun. If nothing else, check out the site. What else we got while we're at the desk? I don't know, check out this new mug. I really like it, it's pretty cool. Um, if you haven't seen these notebooks yet, definitely get one of these uh, Dribble Baron Fig notebooks, they're really cool. Um, dribble, and do I have anything else cool? B stepping away from LaCroix, going to Bubbly. This is cool, I bought these just because of the package design, Huel. I don't even know if it's good for you, it's probably not. Actually, one of you health people, let me know. Um, but dude, look at that design. Are you kidding me? That's a logo right there. Um, yeah, I don't know now, I'm just rambling. But anyways, good to see y'all. Hope you have a good night and evening, day, morning, wherever you are. Talk to you soon.